Golf Central. Brought to you by Titleist. Tiger Woods was on the golf course this morning at Albany, taking part in the Pro-Am, one day ahead of his first competitive start in almost 16 months. And if you're wondering how he played, how about this? He made an eagle on both par fives on the front nine, which, as you can imagine, gave him something to look forward to talking about with the media. I felt good out there. I mean, this golf course is playing tough out here for these amateurs. I mean, it's just whipping out here. Um, but, you know, we, we uh, I think they did the right thing, slow the greens down. Um, Single cut them. They, they, they would have been too quick with this this much wind. Did you get best, out of it what you wanted, thing. Tiger? Today? Today, yeah, I did. I did. Um, I did a little bit of work for about probably I'm guessing probably 12 holes or so. Uh, after that, it was a lot of uh, we were jawing pretty good. It was good. It was we had a good group of guys. If you could describe your mindset for tomorrow in one word, what would you go with? No, I'll be focused. I'll be ready. What's the thing that needs the most work right now after after 18? Probably my putting. My speed's off because I did some work two and three days ago, um, but they were double cut, and uh, they're now, now they're single cut, different speed, and uh, most of my putts I left short. Uh, the last couple holes I made a couple putts, and I, I was telling Joey I'm going to hit it at least four or five feet past the hole. I don't care, and you know, they can they, they would have gone only about a foot past. So I, I need a little bit of work this afternoon. What about your game surprised you today? Surprised me? Not not much. You know, um, I felt good with with pretty much everything. Um, I was able to hit all the shots I needed to hit. Uh, the wind was was definitely pumping today, and uh, it was good to see it under uh, in this direction. Uh, the time uh, since I've been here on Saturday has been blown out of the other direction, so uh, it was good to see it out, out of this direction. How do you chill out do you tonight? What do you do tonight? I guess you work on your putting this afternoon. Do you? I work on the putting this afternoon, yeah, and yeah. I've I've got you know obviously our welcome dinner tonight. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And so uh, we we'll got a little bit of work to do tonight, and then I'll be ready for tomorrow. With that, we say hello, Lisa Cornwell, Trip Eisenhower, Jeff Shackelford. Raise your hands if you're surprised Tiger Woods is leading off the show <laughs> once again. Look, he was all smiles, and for good reason, those two Eagles. What kind of confidence do you think that he'll have? Look, it's been a long time since we've seen him. How can that help him on Thursday? Well, there's a little bit of a superstition amongst pro uh, professional golfers in pro-ams. You never want to win the pro-am. You never <laughs> want to play great in the pro-am. Look, a solid performance from Tiger Woods. I think he's got a lot of questions answered. It's an unofficial score. Tomorrow we're going to go for real and write down a score. I really don't care what it is. I, I saw a lot of good signs from Tiger Woods so far uh, this week. Yeah, that's the thing. The expectations have to be probably calmed down a little bit. If you went on social media today, people were going absolutely nuts about the <laughs> Eagles. Let's calm down. His tone is very calm. I, I, I'm kind of fascinated by that. I don't know what you read into it, but he seems very mellow, uh, like like he's never left, like he's never gone away. It's, it's fascinating to me, and I don't know uh, if that's just his way of trying to deal with what's going to be a very uh, emotional Day tomorrow. Sure, it will be interesting to compare today's attitude to tomorrow's. Of course, the score will dictate that. Well, for much more on Tiger Woods' final day of preparation ahead of the Hero World Challenge, we take you to the Bahamas where Damon Hack is reporting. Thanks, Lisa, with our Golf Channel colleague, Noda Begay. Noda, one year ago, Tiger Woods sounded so despondent about his outlook. How would you describe the difference between his state of mind then and his state of mind now? Well, I think it's a big difference between being absolutely hopeless and uncertain as to what his body was going to do, where his career was going. I was there the week after the last procedure, and uh, to a certain degree, I was I was a little bit hopeless. I mean, he needed help getting from one place to the other, couldn't really drive himself around, and now to see him in the frame of mind, to have a sense of hope, a sense of opportunity to come out here, feeling somewhat physically strong, little uncertainty still around how his game's going to respond, how the equipment's going to respond and then how the mind's going to respond but he's one of the most mentally tough players and he's going to go out there with a new renewed sense of hope and that's all an athlete needs especially someone with Tiger Woods' talent. Noda, he's won 14 major championships, 79 PGA Tour events. What do you think he wants to accomplish in this next chapter? I, I, I think it comes down to winning. Uh, first and foremost this week he said that he's going to come out here and he wants to win the event. I think you would expect nothing less from Tiger, but uh, to get a little bit of confidence, to get some great feedback from where his body's at, how it's moving, how the equipment's responding, are the shots coming off? He pulled out a few months ago because the shots weren't coming off as he wanted. Are we going to see shots that are a little bit more reflective of what we expect of Tiger Woods? And build a little bit of confidence headed into calendar 2017. Should be a fascinating week in the Bahamas. Let's send it back to Lisa in the studio. 
Damon, thank you very much. Hard to believe, or actually this is not hard to believe because Tiger Woods dominated the official world golf ranking for so many weeks. 683 in the top spot to be exact. You can see he comes in right now at 898, but that's largely just because he hasn't played. But here's what would happen because there are world ranking points, Jeff, in this event, just 18 players. But you see that win will boost him up to 125. Second, he goes up to 225. So just being here and playing, it's going to have some sort of effect. Yeah, and I think that's why people are a little bit uncomfortable with this event getting points because just showing up and finishing last allows you to vault that high up the ranking. That's it. It's a great field, a lot of great players, and you have to give some points for something. So it's, it's a tough situation. I understand why the Hero World Challenge wanted world ranking points. Yeah, six players in the top ten in the official world golf yeah. ranking, to be exact. Uh, you've taken a really close look at Tiger's golf swing. What have you seen? Well, after an unofficial 70 today in the Pro-Am, the thing about Tiger's swing that we saw after 2013 is this, the driver swing in particular. We know he's always struggled with the driver, except under Butch, a couple of years, especially that amazing year of 2000. And what we mean by that is the, the club is late. It's behind him. He has a lot of squat in his swing that he has to recover his levels, and that puts the club late and he has to save shots with his hands. We're going to show you an example of that. We're going to compare the swing that we saw today versus a swing a couple of years ago. And I want you to look at a couple of good things. You can see in the one on the left, he was already starting to squat and get lower as he completed his turn. You can see the right hip is much freer. He has turned more into that right hip. The left hip is, is uh, more free. You can see not as much restriction in the knees. They're, they're, they're turning more and they're going with the turn. And I love the beautiful uh, position at the top. He's got some length in that golf swing. Now, the big difference in transition when you look at Tiger Woods, these are these are frame by frame. You can see he's already a couple of frames ahead of the old one. That's what we mean by the club being late. It's behind. Tiger is more narrow on the right than he was on the left because it, 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 that might be some flexibility issues, but then at impact. Now, there you can see he's much more in front of him. The club is uh, at impact, and you can see he's two or three frames from even hitting the ball in 2015. That's what we mean by the club being late and then having to save the shot with his hands he was having to do that time and time again in 2014 and 15 the few times that we saw him you can see the turn much more in synchronization meaning the club and the the sternum of his chest are moving together those are all good signs to me it looks a little bit less athletic yes today than it did that may be a factor of age but it does look to me that he is going to have more shots with the driver now he's always had shots with his irons he's one of the best iron players in the history of the game the issue issue is the driver. He doesn't necessarily need to hit a ton of fairways, but it looks like a little bit of trade-off in power for the ability to shape and have more shots in his golf swing. I liked what I saw. Now let me ask you something. You mentioned the physical aspect there. How much of what you just dissected and what we're seeing is him making a change intentionally, and how much of it do you think is just a physical limitation? That, that, that is a tough question, Jeff, because you just don't know. I think there's probably a mix of both. I think the, some of it's the technique, and some of it could be restricted by, hey, I don't want another back surgery, so I'm going to yeah. do this right, and there could be some of that as well. Mm. Expectations for Woods this week? I'll finish 72 holes without an injury, <laughs> hit a few good shots, have something to think about over the holidays it'll be a great week uh, he will have a top 20 finish okay <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say he's gonna finish in the top 20 pick regardless. Up world ranking yeah. points and too. he's gonna pick up world ranking you points. heard the bold prediction from Eisenhower <laughs> first right here on golf central I will say as you were dissecting his golf swing it seems like now he has so much less tension yes. which may be a big part of all that okay uh, some notable tee times as we look ahead to Thursday look everybody playing in this event is notable right but here are the few that we picked out a uh, Ricky Fowler, Bubba Watson, the defending champ going off at 11:10. Jordan Spieth, Matt Kuchar at 11:50, and of course Tiger Woods, Patrick Reed. How about that duo? That's going to be a lot of fun to watch, and you're going to be able to watch Tiger's opening tee shot right here on Golf Channel. For more on the opening day of play, we go back to the Bahamas and Damon Hack. Thanks, Lisa. On Thursday, Tiger Woods makes his much-anticipated return at noon alongside a player who's become his protege, Patrick Reed. And on Wednesday, Patrick talked about how much he's relishing the opportunity. The main thing I'm looking forward to is just for me personally getting back in the game, but also to be able to play with Tiger for the first time. Uh, you know, it's been a long time since he's been out here, so really for us, it's just to go out and have a good time and watch him do what he does because, I mean, He's not going to come back if he doesn't feel ready. And so with him back in action, we, we definitely feel like he's going to be ready. And uh, who knows, hopefully we can take down him. 
Looking back to 2016, the Ryder Cup, you took down Rory McIlroy in singles, one of the hottest players in the game at that moment. What did you learn about yourself on that Sunday that maybe you didn't know before? You know, really um, how to really control your nerves. Going up against a guy like Rory, who you know, is undefeated in singles match play, and to go into the Ryder Cup knowing that Captain's put me out there first and I have to go out and you know lead the team, the, the worst thing I could do is to go and allow Roy to win that match because then all of a sudden they get all the momentum. And so I had a little bit of extra pressure on myself and you know my warm up I was too amped up and too excited. Now I didn't really hit the ball very well and you know, the cool thing is Tiger could kind of sense that and he came over, pulled me aside and as I'm on the driving range and yeah, he, he just cracked it. You know, I thought he was going to come and give me like a motivational speech or something. He just kind of cracked a little joke and got me laughing and uh, just kind of loosened myself up. And from that point on, I just I played my normal game and, uh, you know, just got the job done. And Patrick Reed went 2-1-1 one one alongside Jordan Spieth in the 2016 Ryder Cup. Now, Jordan Spieth has really come to appreciate this time of year. Of course, two years ago, he won the Australian Open and the Hero World Challenge, setting up a monster 2015 season. And this year, he's trying to do the exact same thing, and he is the subject of the Titleist Tour Report. Competing on Sunday at the Aussie Open, you know, it's very important to try and close one out. It's been uh, what Colonial was in May, um, the last time we closed one out. So, um, really good, really good vibes from there. You know, coming into this week, obviously focus. It's it's a beautiful place to be. It's a great tournament to be at. We're certainly focused on trying to continue that, like we did at Isleworth in 14. And Jordan Spieth tees off at 11.50 a.m. Eastern Time Thursday alongside another U.S. Ryder Cup team member, Matt Kuchar. Let's send it back to Lisa in the studio. Damon, thank you once again. You will see Tiger Woods' first tee shot live on Golf Channel starting tomorrow at noon Eastern along with major winners such as Jordan Spieth, Dustin Johnson, and Bubba Watson. Our coverage of the Hero World Challenge begins tomorrow and continues Saturday at 2.30 Eastern on NBC. Still to come tonight, we preview the Australian PGA Championship starring world number seven and the 2013 winner Adam Scott. Also, next year's LPGA schedule has been released with some additions and bumps in prize money. You'll want those details. It's ahead on Golf Central. Golf Central is brought to you by the Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1X. Make a difference in your game. Shipsticks, the largest golf bag shipping company in the world, simplifying the way you travel.